Happy Friday. Hey, I want to talk to you about these two books today. How to Break Curses and the Power of Positive Words. We're going to talk about why bad things happen. Two reasons. One reason is found in this book and one reason is found in this book. Let's get to it. Don't forget, today is Friday. Today is Offering Day. Today's the day we do our donations and offerings and, and our tithe today because, and also today is the day that we speak the blessing over your offering and over your donation. Your offer, you can partner with anybody you want. And a lot of people partner with good ministries, but the minister should be speaking the word or word blessing over your offering. Amen. Just like God instructed us to do, because when that happens, the blessings just rain down. We see this all the time. I got a wonderful praise report. Remember, we did a message this week about the man in the van? Called me over a year ago, and I'm still excited about this. He was living in his van. I broke the curses in his life, spoke the blessing over him, and during the next year, 2019, he made $116,000. Glory to God. Now that is somebody who got a hold of the blessing. I'm telling you, God can turn your life around, folks, in a hurry. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's 1,150 videos in there that you can watch, and it's all free. There's no charge for any of it, any of that stuff in there. And you can, you can also call me. My phone number is there. I believe when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. A lot of people around this country don't even have access to their own pastor. They can't talk to their pastor unless they make an appointment and go through three layers to get to them. Not here. I answer the phone. And this is a large ministry, folks, let me tell you. But I still take the time to talk to people. I talk to people all day long. And we get amazing results. Amen. Don't forget offering day today. Say this with me today. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. I want to talk to you today about two reasons why bad things happen. And there's only two reasons. I was watching a video today of Andy Stanley. If you want to know who who I was watching today, I happened to be watching, and he was talking about why bad things happen. Let me tell you something, folks. Bless his heart. He has no idea. He has no idea why bad things happen. He's talking about things inside you and 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 learning to live with bad things and good things. And and I mean, he's has a wonderful church, very elegant speaker. But let me tell you something, folks. He has no idea why bad things happen to good people. He has no, no clue. Number one reason, generational curses or curses. Amen. Curses cause bad things to happen. My dad was cursed. Bad things happen to him all the time. And me too. Now my dad was cursed by his father. Now, you can be blessed financially and still have bad things happen to you. Amen? I mean, this this generally comes down in families where it just seems like in some families, bad things happen one after another. Just constantly, bad things are happening in that family. Well, I got news for you. There's no... Everybody says, well... That family has, sure has had a string of bad luck. No, they had a generational curse and it's causing these bad things to happen. A, gener a curse, a curse is permission for the devil to operate in somebody's life. Now that, <clears throat> that's what a curse is. When somebody is cursed, that means the devil has permission to operate in their life. And these generational curses 
can come down for years, sometimes hundreds of years or even a thousand years or longer. These generational curses come, can come down. Curses of poverty come down. Bad things happen to your finances. I'm telling you, bad things happen to my finances constantly because my father's finances were cursed. I mean, every time I would try to do, I have literally, I don't, I might be even a little bit embarrassed to say this, but I have literally tried hundreds and hundreds of ways to make money. And none of them worked. None of them worked. And some of them were, <clears throat> I got ideas from other people. Some of them were ideas that I came up with on my own. And every one of them had the potential to make millions of dollars. And not one of them was ever successful. Why is that? Because something bad happened every time. Something bad happened every time. My dad lost every penny he ever made, and he made good money. I had gotten a $5,000 bonus at work one time. And somebody said, hey, so-and-so wants to start this club, and she knows how to do it. She's got a space, everything, and she's just taken over an existing business, and you'll get a constant return on your money for the rest of your life. I gave her 5,000 bucks. Gave it all to her. Never saw her again. Couldn't get a hold of her on the phone. Gone. Just gone. My dad dad and people said, hey, you gave it to her. You, you can't call the cops. You gave it to her. There's nothing you can do. I know a guy, bless his heart. You want to talk about bad things happening to, to people? This guy was talked by his brother into quitting his job after 35 years as an engineer, quitting his job, taking his retirement in a lump sum and investing it with his brother. And so he did. And I went, oh, you're, you're going to do what? And he told me what he was going to do. And because I was his pastor, he came to our, he was part of our church. Even played music with us for a while. And I, I, oh my goodness. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's pray about this. Nope, nope, nope. I've researched it. I've studied it out. And I know it works. So, well, that night, I couldn't sleep. The Lord kept me up all night. I just could not sleep. So I called him the next morning. I said, listen, you got to come over here. We got to talk. He came over. I said, listen, please. This, this, please pray about this. Please slow down. You're giving up everything you've ever worked for. And you're really rolling the dice. He looked at me right in the eye. And now we're talking about a half a million dollars here or more. He looked me right in the eye and he said, I trust my brother. His brother took that money and he never heard from him again. And his brother, he finally got a hold of his brother three or four weeks afterwards on the phone. His brother said, I was working with somebody and that person stole the money. That was a lie. But there was nothing he could do about it. He gave his brother the money. He, If you give it to him, you can't report him for stealing. Amen. He gave it to him. Come to find out, he had lost everything he'd ever had several times. His father was broke. His brother was broke until he got his money. And I guarantee you that money's gone now. Generational curse. You call me. Let me break that curse and stop these bad things from happening. Number two comes out of this book, The Power of Positive Words. Your words will cause good things to happen in your life or bad things to happen in your life. If you're wondering why bad things keep happening, maybe it's because what you say. I came to church one morning and back in the back in the children's area, uh, we had some coffee set up back there and two people were back there having coffee 
And one of them said, well, he says, because he had had some bad things happen. He says, it's just one thing after another. And the lady that was standing there talking to him says, yep, I know what you mean. And I, th I went, blah. I thought, bad things are going to happen to both of those people. And it did. All kinds of bad things happened. And still happened. I mean, this one guy that taught, the, the guy that originally said that, he has had continual bad things. I mean, called absolute total disasters continually happen in his life. His words. He doesn't have his words under control. You get your words under control. You read this book. You start saying only positive things about yourself. This is actually the second most important book ever written. If you don't do the simple things in this book, I'm telling you what, this book, the Bible, is not going to work in your life. The Bible doesn't work in your life if your words are not under control. That simple. Those are the two reasons why bad things happen. You call me. Let me break these curses. Let's get this book to you. Go to Amazon. Get these two books. How to Break Curses and The Power of Positive Words. You can get both of them for 12 bucks, 12 or $13. Amen. Get both. You can get them in two days. Read both of those books constantly and stop bad things from happening in your life. Call me. Let me break these curses for you. Let me speak the blessing over you. I want to get you curse-free and blessed. And that's what I do on the first phone call when people call me, is I break the curses and speak the blessing. Because I want you to be blessed. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you, people, there's no reason in the world why you should live a cursed life. Let's break this. Don't forget, today is offering day. When you do your offerings and donations today and your tithe, Call me because I want to speak the blessing over you today. I want to bless your offering. Your offering and your tithe is supposed to be blessed. And I do it individually, one-on-one, -on -one, when people make their offerings. I've been doing that for years. And I'm telling you what, you wouldn't believe how some of these people are blessed. Because God's word works. Have the curses broken. Have the blessings spoken by a minister in authority. And I'm telling you, your pastor should be doing this. If he's not doing this, maybe you're in the wrong place. Amen. He should be. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you what, don't forget offering day today. Also, share this video with everybody you know. People who are, keep having bad problems, there's no such thing as luck. You're either blessed or you're cursed. Let's get the curse out and the blessing in. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much, and I will see you right back here again tomorrow. Don't forget, offering day today. Let's get your offering blessed.